In this screencast lecture, we are going to see the various DNA repair mechanisms that have been existing in an organism. The main DNA repair mechanism includes the proofreading capacity of the DNA polymerase enzyme and then the excision repair systems. This excision repair system includes nucleotide excision repair and base excision repair. The next important mutation repair system is a mismatch repair system. The other systems includes SOS repair system and photo reactivation. Mutation may be resulted due to replication errors or exposure of an organism to different kinds of mutagens. So, they can able to alter the nucleotide sequence. Thus, microbes need to face this situation that is change in the nucleotide sequence by repairing them. The first and foremost system that operates is the proofreading capacity of certain enzymes of the microorganisms. Say you all know about DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase is an enzyme that is involved in the replication of the DNA. At the same time, it has the ability to remove the incorrect nucleotide bases that may be inserted during the process of replication. That is, it can have a 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity through which an incorrect nucleotide that have been inserted there can be easily removed. This has been clearly explained through this diagram. You can able to see the incorrect nucleotide pair that has been removed and it has been placed there with a the correct nucleotide by 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity of the DNA polymerase. Most of the DNA repair systems have been well studied there using E. coli as a model organism. First, we look at in detail about the excision repair. It is an ubiquitous mechanism, operates on a wide variety of lesions that occurs in a double helix and is essentially an error-free mechanism of DNA repair. It is a ubiquitous meaning it has been widely operating that is it is present in most of the organisms. There are two forms of excision repair that includes nucleotide excision repair which is referred as a NER and base excision repair which is referred as BER. Now, we look at the differences existing between the base excision repair and nucleotide excision repair. Base excision repair is a cellular mechanism repairing the damaged DNA by removal of small non-helic distorting base lesions from the genome. Whereas, nucleotide excision repair is a DNA repair mechanism that is existing in most of the organism. It is importantly associated there with removing the DNA damages that has been caused or induced by ultraviolet radiation. Base excision repair corrects small non-helix distorting lesions whereas nucleotide excision repair corrects bulky and helix distorting lesions occurring there in the cell. The base excision repair mainly process the modification occurring due to the mutation that causes deamination, alkylation and oxidation there inside the cells. However, nucleotide excision repair mainly process the DNA damages that are occur due to the UV light exposure. Base excision repair corrects mainly the chemical damages which affects the hydrogen bonding and regular base pairing properties of the nucleotides. Whereas the nucleotide excision repair corrects the time in dimer and other photo products that may be formed due to the UV induction. Thus, base excision repair corrects the damage that are caused by endogenously formed mutagens of the cell. Whereas the nucleotide excision repair corrects the damage that are formed by exogenous mutagen, mainly the exterior source of the UV radiation that falls on the cells. The enzyme systems that are involved in the base excision repair includes the DNA glycosylases and AP endonucleases that is AP uronic endonucleases that are responsible for recognition and removal of the DNA damage that has been caused in the cells. Whereas here different kinds of protein including DDB, XPC, RAD, 23B are some of the common proteins that are responsible for clearing the DNA damage. In the base excision repair mechanism, generally a few bases are deleted or removed, whereas in the nucleotide excision repair mechanism, a short single stranded fragment or stretch of nucleotides are removed along with the 
damaged DNA portion removal. Defect in the base excision repair mechanism can lead to development of cancer inside the cell. Whereas the defect there in the nucleotide excision repair mechanism may lead to certain diseases such as xeroderma pigmentosum and Cochianis syndrome. Now, we look at the explanation related to the nucleotide excision repair. In this repair mechanism, certain endonucleases enzymes cleaves the DNA a precise number of bases on either side of the lesion and a oligonucleotide containing the lesion is further completely removed up leaving a gap. This mechanism was studied in detail in E. coli and the main enzymes that are involved here includes UVR ABC endonucleases that removes the pyrimidine dimers that have been caused due to UV irradiation. This UVR ABC endonuclease systems can also able to remove other bulky lesions that may be recognized in the double helix of the DNA. Now, we will see the details of the nucleotide repair mechanism with the help of the endonuclease enzymes, which is also referred as a UVR ABC endonuclease, which removes the damaged bases along with some other bases also that have been present on the either side of the lesion. So, this diagram explains how this mechanism have been operating there in the cell. In the first step, you can able to see how a ultraviolet rays can able to produce thymine dimer, a form of a damage there in the nucleotides of the cells. So, this particular damage need to be repaired by the nucleotide repair mechanism. As we already know, in the nucleotide repair mechanism, certain kind of endonucleases have been involved, which are referred as a UVRA and UVRB and C. First step, two UVRA and one molecule of UVRB are getting binded there to the damaged site, that is to the thymine dimer present site. So, after binding of the two molecules of A and one molecule of B endonucleases, they are causing a kink or bending there in the backbone of the DNA. After that step, the UVRA endonuclease will be disassociating and a new endonuclease that is UVRC will be joining there in that site. Now, the UVRC cuts the backbone of the DNA at two sites separated by approximately 12 to 14 nucleotides in length. So, this causes a small single stranded gap there in the DNA. That small stretch of DNA that has been cut is been now degraded into mononucleotides and the gap formed there will be filled with the help of DNA polymerase 1. And finally, the DNA ligase joins the fragments together. This system can aid in removing the thymine dimers as well as repair almost any other type of injury that produces a detectable distortion there in the backbone of the DNA molecule. Now, we look at the points related to base excision repair. Modified bases are recognized by relatively specific DNA glycosylases which cleave the N-glycosidic bond that have been present there in the altered base and the sugar, leaving a apurinic or apyrimidinic condition there in the nucleotide. To understand about the mechanism of action of glycosylase enzyme and how a purinic, apurinic condition or a apyrimidinic condition has been resulted there in the nucleotide, first we need to understand about what are the different types of bonds that have been present there in the DNA molecule. In a double stranded DNA molecule, the two strands have been connected together by the hydrogen bonds that have been formed between the AT and GC. You all already know between A and T it will be two hydrogen bond whereas the GC will be having a three hydrogen bond. Phosphodiester bonds form as a backbone of the nucleotide chain. That is, it connects the sugar molecules together by a phosphodiester bond. The third one is the glycosidic bond that is of important with reference to the glycosylase enzyme. These enzymes will be affecting or cleaving the glycosidic bond that has been established between the ribose or deoxyribose sugar and the nitrogenous base that may be of a purine or pyrimidine. When this particular bond between a purine and a sugar is removed, the condition is referred as a apurinic condition. When it is cut between the pyrimidine nitrogenous base and the sugar, the condition formed is referred as a apyrimidinic condition. So, in short, if a apurinic or apyrimidinic condition will be happening there in the cell, it will be looking like this. That is, the backbone phosphodiester bond will be present 
then the ribose sugar or deoxy ribose sugar will be present. However, the nitrogenous base that is of a purine or pyrimidine may be removed from that particular site. That is by the action of the glycosylase enzyme that leaves the glycosidic body. The purinic or pyrimidinic sites could also be produced by spontaneous base loss that occurs in the cell. A special AP endonuclease then cleaves the DNA at this site and a gap may be created by further exonuclease activities. Alkylation a kind of a damage that have been caused can be removed with the help of enzyme called as alkyl transferase, which removes alkyl group from directly from the mutagenic base that is from the guanine that is alkyl guanine and curiously the alkyl group is transferred to the protein itself that is to the alkyl transferase enzyme itself and it gets inactivated. Thus, each alkyl transferase can only be used once in the repairing of this mutation. Thus, the alkyl transferase is present abundant there in the mammalian cells and they protect against the lethality that involves the induction of DNA glycosylase and thus they play role there in the base excision repair. Compared to that of the nucleotide excision repair, only a one or few nucleotides have been excised and repaired in the base excision repair. From this point, both the forms of excision repair, that is in the nucleotide excision repair as well as in the base excision repair, the mechanism remains essentially same, that is filling of gaps by the DNA polymerase enzyme and final sealing of the gap by the DNA ligase. Both are same in base excision repair as well as nucleotide excision repair. Now, we look at some differences existing there in the type of polymerase involved in this activity. In eukaryotes, gap filling taking place during the base excision repair is predominantly carried out by the DNA polymerase of beta type. Whereas, the longer gap that are usually generated in the nucleotide excision repair are filled with the help of DNA polymerase delta or epsilon. In eukaryotes, the nucleotide excision repair recognition and excision of the DNA damage is a very complex process involving at least 18 different polypeptide factors including the transcription factor of 2H. Generally, excision is coupled to transcription so that the transcribed that is genetically active portions of the DNA are repaired and more rapidly than the non-transcribed portions of the DNA. 